Hey guys, it's Divine Demon here, and I'm bringing you a commentary on Village Domination, and I got some really nice, I don't know, some nice kills in this match. Camped it out a little bit, so it's kind of a little boring, but it's just the link to like go over my topic for today, which is Black Ops 2. Black Ops 2, guys, you finally saw it for the first time. How confused are you? Do you even know what COD is anymore? <laughs> Like, seriously, they made everything look so different, so weird, they don't even, I don't even know what COD is anymore. It's too in the future to look like COD anymore. All these weird things, that weird helicopter in the beginning you see, all the weird guns, that little flying thing that goes around and shoots people, I don't even know what's going on anymore. So, I just got a couple things to go over for Black Ops 2, and the first thing I want to go over is, like, the kill streaks. It seems like this game is based on kill streaks now. Like, if you're in the future, you're not really using guns, and I don't think it's gonna be. There's gonna be a lot of gunplay within Black Ops 2. So, I think this game's gonna be based on kill streaks mainly, and pretty much almost every kill you're gonna get a kill streak. <laughs> Cause I'm pretty sure they're gonna bring back the you don't have to die to reget your kill streaks again, and I'm pretty sure that the kill streaks aren't gonna be like a hundred like kills <laughs> over exaggeration but I think the kill streaks there's at least gonna be two kill streaks for every kill like there's gonna be two th kill, two kill streaks for a three kill streak four kill streak five kill streak and so on all the way to like 11 or something but there's gonna be I think this is gonna have the most types of kill streaks ever considering it's future warfare and I don't know I think they're gonna take kill streaks and enhance it to a whole different level and I don't know what they're gonna do to stop campers and stuff, but Future Warfare looks like camping is gonna be what's going on, but yeah, so to there's gonna be a total different feel of the game if it's gonna be like this, like this Future Warfare kind of thing, it's never really happened before. COD has been basic, usually modern or old, like World War II to now, because yeah, it used to be World at War was the older COD, and then that was like the only old COD since COD 4. So they're bringing now they're bringing it into the future, really far in the future, and we don't even know what's going on, what kind of guns they're using, all these weird things, and I don't know. I think people will have to adapt to this new type of feel that the game's gonna have, because you know how every Call of Duty is different. I think this is gonna be a huge jump, and the only the only reason I think Treyarch is doing this is because if they did make another Call of Duty exactly the same. It would have been the same jump like Modern Warfare 2 to Modern Warfare 3 did. A very small jump. That's why I think Treyarch's doing this, to make a whole different feel of the game. And to like, to get people into this new type of like, I don't know, it looks like it, they're making a whole different game. It's not going to be caught anymore. I don't know. So this brings me to my new topic. Well, it's the same. It's based on Black Ops 2, but the second part of my topic, which is vehicles. Vehicles are supposedly going to be in this game. I don't know, I've seen some video speculation on it, but you know what vehicles were like in COD 5, if you played COD 5, and it gave you a fourth perk slot for your vehicle. So there's going to be more customization, a fourth perk slot for your vehicle, and there's going to be a lot of things to do with that fourth perk slot, I believe. And bringing back that fourth perk slot makes a lot more customization because they never had a fourth perk slot since like COD 5. And Although it's only for your vehicle, they can add a lot of different things to it, like speed, damage, I don't know, they could do a lot of things. Just like they did in this game, Modern Warfare 3, they put in all that weird, like, attachments and then proficiencies with attachments. I don't know, more customization every single Call of Duty that comes, so. Uh, I think that, I don't know, you, you guys think there's going to be full manual air support, like the gunship from Black Ops? Like, you're going to be able to tell the thing where to go, and you're going to be able to move it and shoot it and tell it what to do, like, at all times. It's not going to be like a chopper gunner that randomly goes around the map. I think you're always going to be in control of what's going on, like the gunship from, um, what is it, Black Ops, yeah. But I think it's going to be a lot more complex than that. I think there's going to be way more kill streaks to use. There's, they're going to bring, like, almost every kill streak possible from all the other CODs, and then some, I think, but... I don't know if they're going to bring back that tank, because Future Warfare, I don't know, tanks probably would be there. Tanks, I don't know, you think they're going to be overpowered? That might be a problem. People are going to camp in the tanks, or the air support, or they could probably fly a jet around, I don't know. They're not going to fly jets, I bet, but I don't know. There's a lot of, I don't know, speculation about these things. A long time from now we're going to see, but tanks in Black Ops 2, it's possible, I don't see why it wouldn't happen, but... 
due to all this like future warfare stuff, I think it's gonna be like slower gameplay. All the vehicle, if the, especially if vehicles are implemented in a couple of the maps like they did in COD 5, because it's gonna be slower gameplay because the vehicles will have to like go, go around the map, and it would be kind of overpowered to have a tank on dome. <laughs> it would just it, that would just wreck a lot of people. But it should be really easy to defeat these vehicles. Like you should be able to shoot it with like a clip or two of a like I don't know. Like I say, a hundred shots of an LMG should take down one of these at least. Or if you could pull out the C4 and shoot, like, throw two at it and then just explode it, that would be really easy and simple. But, I don't know, with these tank things, like in COD 5, they might bring back the gore, like the giving of the arms and, like, the, <laughs> and the legs. But, I don't know. There might be some more gore coming back. I don't think gore is coming back at all, actually, since it's modern. But, um, let's go on to the next, next topic, which is zombies. Although, some of you not, might not care, but... Zombies is gonna be totally different, I believe. Like, what are they? How are they gonna bring back zombies in the future? It doesn't really make sense. Like, zombies were a COD 5 kind of feel. It's old. It's like, it's fake. It's, I don't know. Zombies may come true, apocalypse. But I think the zombies is a really old type of feel to the game. It's totally different. And I think they're gonna focus more on multiplayer because there's gonna be a lot of th people going to the multiplayer rather than play zombies. Like, they never really focused on zombies until, like, the end of Black Ops. And, I don't know, I don't think they know how powerful zombies is to some people, because not enough people played, I believe, but... I don't know. There is a very big community that would follow zombies, but... I don't know if Treyarch knows about them. I'm pretty sure they do, but... They're not really focusing on the zombies. They're focusing more on the multiplayer, the feel of the game, making sure everything's perfect, the patches, they're patching the multiplayer. Even though they have patched the zombies before, but I don't know. They're they're gonna have to patch up this game a lot. I f and also, that's another thing. It seems like with all these things, there's gonna be have to be a lot of balancing. A lot of things are gonna cancel out a lot of things. It's not gonna be like it's gonna be more complex than ever before. Perks are gonna cancel out perks. Like assassin is gonna cancel out like quick draw and shiz. I don't know. <laughs> like there's gonna be perks that are better than other perks, and you're gonna have to choose from all these things. And it's going to be really complex to see which is the best loadout. Like, in the beginning of COD, you don't know what the best loadout is. And it's really annoying. Like, oh, what's the best kills? What's the best gun? The best kill streaks, The best perks? The best attachment? The best proficiency? There's always going to be, like, that new thing you have to learn in Call of Duty. And with all this customization I believe they're going to be adding into this game and implementing, there's going to be too much to understand what's going on anymore. So... Like, if they did bring back zombies, how big are the maps going to be, you believe? Like, are they going to be huge? Are they going to be, like, so many that you don't even know what's going on anymore? <laughs> like, I don't know, because if they bring back zombies, how much memory does the zombie map take? And how much memory are they going to commit to multiplayer than they're going to commit to zombies? I think zombies isn't going to be as supported as multiplayer, because, yeah, as before I stated, that it isn't as important to Treyarch and to the community itself but zombies i don't know how many maps do you think are going to come out on the disc itself since there's usually 16 multiplayer maps that release on the disc but i don't know what how many maps do you think they're going to come out because it came out with kino i think and some other games but i don't i just got my moab by the way i i hope you guys enjoyed that little that little moab calling right there usually when i get a moab i stop caring about the game and stuff so I don't even know what's going on. I just rush out there because double XP, right? I always die right after I get my Moab, too, because they really just don't care anymore. It's like, what? Uh, yeah, I give up. <laughs> I, I really hate camping, guys. And that's another thing. I really want camping to stop. I like, I don't know, Modern Warfare 3 feels like you die every two seconds, and everyone got used to it. Modern Warfare 3 just made people used to dying. It's like, oh, I'm going to die. <laughs> People aren't running around just getting kill streaks all the time. People are like, uh, I died, whatever. Like, eventually, you stop caring about dying. And I think Modern Warfare 3 did a good job of that. But, yeah, Black Ops 2, I, I believe it's gonna be a very, it's gonna be like Black Ops, but a little slower due to, like, map based kind of things. Like, the vehicles. And, I don't know, they might have turrets on the map too that you can manually control, like they had in uh, Modern Warfare 2. 
Uh, Black Ops didn't even have turrets, like the mini guns that you could spin up, hold square on, and you could just get on it real quick and then spin up some people. That would be kind of cool if they had many of those and they could shoot down like tanks with it. You know, the mini gun from like, yeah, Model for 2. Like, the mini gun from Model for 2 should be able to take down like a chopper. You should be able to like get an artillery, <laughs> like in one of those artillery things that shoot down choppers, and you should be able to shoot down all those things. I don't know, but that might change COD, like, COD totally, but, like, it would be a lot more like Battlefield if they really are going with this future warfare kind of thing. COD is not going to be the same, I'll tell you that, but I don't know where they're going with this. <laughs> where do you think they're going with it? Is they going the right direction? Are they doing the right thing? I, I'm sorry this is long commentary, but I don't know. This is only really gameplay I had, so if you stopped watching, I, I wouldn't, like, I wouldn't punch you. <laughs> I wouldn't punch you anyway, because I'm scared. And I just sensed that you left me already and I'm all lonely by myself here looking at my gameplay and how bad I suck just dying over and over So this is the end of the gameplay. I hope you guys enjoyed and Are thinking about what's gonna happen to black ops 2 how different it's gonna be. I don't know What kind of game it's I feel like they're changing call of duty guys. It's not gonna be the same anymore Less gunplay more kill streaks. I don't know Thank you guys for watching. See you later